again, I, I think you gonna be doing? very important part to understand here is the unpredictability of it. We cannot predict what a smarter than us system will do. And the point when we get to that is often called singularity by analogy with physical singularity. You cannot see beyond the event horizon. I can tell you what I think might happen, but that's my prediction. It is not what actually is going to happen because I just don't have cognitive ability to predict a much smarter agent impacting this world. Then you read science fiction. There is never a super intelligence in it actually doing anything because nobody can write believable science fiction at that level. They either bent AI like Dune because this way you can avoid writing about it. Or it's like Star Wars. You have this really dumb bots, but no, nothing super intelligent ever. Because by definition, you cannot predict at that level. Because by definition of it being super intelligent, it will make its own mind up. By definition, if it was something you could predict, you would be operating at the same level of intelligence, violating our assumption that it is smarter than you. If I'm playing chess with super intelligence and I can predict every move, I'm playing at that level. It's kind of like my French bulldog trying to predict exactly what I'm thinking and what I'm going to do. That's a good cognitive gap. And it's not just he can predict you going to work, you coming back, but he cannot understand why you're doing a podcast. That is something completely outside of his model of the world. Yeah, he doesn't even know that I go to work. He just sees that I leave the house and doesn't know where I go. Buy food for him. What's the most persuasive argument against your own perspective here? That we will not have unemployment due to advanced technology? That there won't be this... French bulldog human gap in understanding and I guess like power and control. So some people think that we can enhance human minds either through combination with hardware, so something like Neuralink or through genetic reengineering to where we make smarter humans. Yeah. It may give us a little more intelligence. I don't think we're still competitive in biological form with silicon form. Silicon substrate is much more capable for intelligence is faster, it's more resilient, more energy efficient in many ways. Which is what computers are made out of versus exactly. the brain. So I don't think we can keep up just with improving our biology. Some people think maybe, and this is very speculative, we can upload our minds into computers. So scan your brain, kind of comb of your brain and have a simulation running on a computer and you can speed it up, give it more capabilities. But to me, that feels like you no longer exist. We just created software by different means. And now you have AI based on biology and AI based on some other forms of training. You can have evolutionary algorithms. You can have many paths to reach AGI. But at the end, none of them are humans. 